Ε, χαιρόμαστε που έχουμε μαζί μας σήμερα τον καθηγητή, τον κύριο Reardon, που έχει έρθει από το Τέξας μαζί μας. Όπως ξέρετε όλοι, είναι ένας από τους πρωτοπόρους της διαδερμικής βαλβίδας. Θα του κάνουμε μερικές ερωτήσεις σήμερα ε, για το χώρο των διαδερμικών βαλβίδων. Dr. Reardon, really good to have you here with us today. Well, thank you for having me back. It's always a pleasure coming Thank you. You know, we consider you to be one of the great friends and allies of yeah. our conference. And, uh, Uh, as a fellow Texas trained yeah. uh, cardiac surgeon, it's always good to see cardiac surgeons represented at these meetings. Yeah. We would like your input as to what do you think are the uh, latest and greatest innovations in the field of transcatheter heart valves? What do you think has happened in the past two, three years that has really changed things? Well, I think our studies continue to change things. As you know, the five year partner three data has come out, the four year Evolute low risk data has come out. Uh, partner remains and Evolute remains non-inferior, although Evolute the lines are actually starting to spread in favor of TAVR, which is certainly good news for TAVR. Mm -hmm. I'll present the five-year uh, Evolute low-risk data at ACC next year. We just finished the Align trial, which is for the Genovalve for AI. Right. We just finished the J-Valve EFS, and I'm starting the IDE in the U.S., so we now are going to have dedicated valves for aortic insufficiency. So we, we continue to iterate this and bring this to more people as we collect more and more data to really have a strong foundation from which to base our decisions. Fantastic. What do you think are kind of the areas that have, you know, the transcatheter uh, heart valves have not conquered yet? In other words, the answer to the question that many of my surgical colleagues are asking, what's left for the surgeons that don't have wire skills such as yourself? What do you think are the, the fields that remain to be developed? Well, there's a lot that remain to be developed. I, I, I tell one thing, if you go look at the, uh, the aortic valve uh, surgery TAVR universe, We've all seen that the TAVR arm has gone past isolated AVRs and past total AVRs in the U.S. But in 2019, when low risk was approved, what you'll see is they not only flatten out for isolated, they're starting back up again. Because yeah. people are now coming into our valve clinics, and many of these people still need surgery. Right. So I, th I think that we're, we're seeing a, a trend back towards surgery, and the fastest growing operation is going to be surgeons needing to remove failed TAVR yeah. valves and do a surgical valve yeah. replacement. Yeah, we see that. I mean, I think we all recognize that that's the... Uh, the next coming operation that we're all going to need to to get better at as cardiac yeah. surgeons. And you know, we've seen your talks here at conferences past about you know your techniques for this. We look forward to your talk coming up. So thank you so much for being with us. Well, thank you for having this conference. I think this spreads uh, knowledge that we need not just here in Greece but really across the globe. So thank you so Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Good to have you here.